Hi kids, today I'm going to be reading you the story, All Kinds of Families. The story was written by Mary Ann Hoberman, and it was written by Mark Bonavent. But before I start reading the story, we're going to go over the story vocabulary so you can understand the story a little better. Our first word is musician. A musician is a person who plays a musical instrument as a job or hobby. Our next word is participate. If you participate in an activity, you take part in it with other people. Endless. When something is endless, it goes on forever. Experiment. To experiment means to try something out to see how it works. Perfect. When something is perfect, it is as good as it can possibly be, and there is nothing wrong with it. Similar. When two things are similar, they are alike in some way. And sort. To sort is to place things in groups with other things that are the same in some way. All Kinds of Families Written by Mary Ann Hoberman Illustrated by Mark Baudavent Families, families, all kinds of families Families are people, and animals too, but all sorts of other things fit into families. Look all around and you'll see that they do. A knife and a fork and a spoon are a family. The stars and the sun and the moon are a family. The socks in the drawer and the rocks on the shore and the blocks on the floor. They can all become families. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons, or rings. You can make families from all sorts of things. As soon as you're born, you're part of a family. As soon as you're born, you're a daughter or son. As soon as you're born, your family gets bigger. As soon as you're born, it is bigger by one. Eggs in a carton can seem like a family, so can a loaf with its slices of bread. Celery stalks or a big bunch of carrots, they sleep in the fridge with a drawer for a bed. What other things can you find to make families? Pennies and card decks and marbles and jacks, ribbons and bobby pins, hair clips and thimbles, pencils and rulers and crayons and tacks. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons, or rings. You can make families from all sorts of things. Clams in the sea make a clamily family. Lambs in the field make a lamily family. Jams in their jars make a jamily family. And yams in the cupboard make a yamily family. Out in the yard, you'll find dry twigs and branches, horse chestnuts, barberries, acorns, and cones. Down at the beach, you'll find pebbles and seashells, soft-colored beach glass, and ocean-smoothed stones. A saucer and cup can be brother and sister. A comb and a brush can be husband and wife. A plate and a bowl can be Mrs. and Mr. And so can the spoon or the fork or the knife. Your hand is a family, a family of fingers. Your foot is a family, a family of toes. And as you get older, each family gets older. And as you keep growing, each family grows. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons, or rings. You can make families from all sorts of things. If you are the first baby born to your mother, your mother's a mother because you are here. If you are the first baby born to your father, your father is a father because you appear. If you are the second one born in your family, 
someone is a brother because you arrived, or someone's a sister and you are a sister, or brother the moment that you are alive. You can make families from clay or from play doh. You can make families from mud or from snow. You can make families from paper or cardboard. Make them from sticks or balloons that you blow. Spools are a family, and tools are a family, and chalks for the blackboard at school are a family. Six slices of cheese, or a pod full of peas, or a key ring with keys, they can all become families. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons, or rings, you can make families from all sorts of things. You might say that numbers belong in a family, or alphabet letters, or notes in the scale. The colors in rainbows, the words in a language, the keys on a piano, or stamps for the mail. Inside or outside, in summer or winter, you can find families for so many games. Families to play with, spend most of the day with, telling them stories and giving them names. Bottle caps, ginger snaps, buttons or rings. You can make families from all sorts of things. Make believe families and families of people. Families of people from long, long ago. Families like stepping stones crossing the water, leading to now and the families you know. Everyone comes from a number of families. When you look backward, it looks like a tree. People from families make other new families. The more you go back, the more people you see. Play families, real families, all kinds of families. Think of the families, the ones that you're from, Someday you'll grow up and you'll have a new family and you'll be the family of families to come. Respond to reading. Remember, when you're answering questions, you could always go back and use the book to find the answers. Here are the questions. What are some examples of families in the story? What happens to families as you get older? And lastly, what is the author telling us about families in this story? Now that we're done reading the story, all kinds of families, let's talk about the story. This talked about all sorts of families, but it wasn't all about people, okay? Families, it talked about more like families as in groups, different groups that they made and um, put them in the groups and called them families. So we, have, we started at the beginning and we talked about families like with people. But then over here, we start talking about families, like in the, the refrigerator, how they sorted food. Okay, we talked about how they sorted their crafts here and their toys. Um, then they talked about all sorts of different groups of things that they made in our story, and all the different characters made here. So you can see in all the pages, there were things that were the same and some things that were different. Look at this, look, it said they're family of fingers, got toes, um, and there's just all sorts of things that we could compare, that we could say how they're the same, and different things that we could contrast and say how they are different. So this was a really long and beautiful story with great pictures of all the different things they put in little groups, little families, to put them together. We have families of numbers, um, and pictures, different types of pictures. And here it showed all different types of families. And friends, the main thing that we're learning from this story is that it's okay to have things that are different. It, we are all special in our own way. We all have different families and we all group different things together. Just like in class, sometimes I would give you some items and I would say, oh, sort them together and how some of them are the same. And you all came up with different ways. Some of you sorted by color, some of you sorted by shapes, some of you by sizes. So all kinds of families you can make with anything. 
You're just grouping things together that you think feel like they go together and are the same. And remember, it's always good to have the same and to have different. Great job. See you later.